it's not just Street Fighter 5. DLC is cancer. So I listened to Jimmy B. Gaiman's video about Street Fighter 5 earlier, and I agree with it. <clears throat> Here's my take on why I agree with it. This is the Titanfall Princess, your Irish girl gamer, and tell it like it is YouTuber. First off, great video, Jimmy B. Gaming, because I can't stand how much DLC has been going on for the past two gens. And, and not, even, not even good DLC. It's DLC for things that are already included in the game with a big file size, which is probably just a bloated license or some shit like that. I am seriously tired of games with a standard edition, then a deluxe edition, then an ultra edition, all the way to the final edition, which is the game of the year edition. Now, what's worse than what Street Fighter did is Dead or Alive 5. Right now, there's literally thousands of options for DLC. Thousands. When it should be honestly just be included in the update. Or just be in the game, period. And Call of Duty is another franchise that does this way too often. A day, one addition to more DLC. I mean, what happened to when you bought a game and everything that was in the game was actually on disc or on the cartridge? We had all our cheats, unlockables, costumes, and everything already on the disc. To the people that disagree with this, here's why you shouldn't. Let me give you an example. Okay, imagine you go into a restaurant ordering a complete meal, okay, paying the full price for the meal, but only getting 25 to 50 percent of it, and for the additional cost, you could have the rest of your meal that you already paid in full for, okay, and then they give you nothing to drink with it, to wash it down, not even a glass of water, you had to pay extra for that too, imagine that, let that sink in a little bit. When people agree with DLC, there's plenty much saying the same thing. They're pretty much saying the same thing that I just said. They will be nickeled and dimed for an incomplete product and an incomplete experience. Personally, I believe DLC, DLC excuse me, should only happen for a game when, when there's a demand for more content that's not already in the game. Okay? And I get it. Com Capcom wanted Street Fighter out um, in time for EVO you know, 2016, so that people like Daigo, um, Pi Smug, um, PR, Bullrog, Justin Wong, Ricky Ortiz, and all those top level players could get, get their hands on the experience. Okay, I, I understand that. But what does it offer for the money you actually paid for it? You have to realize that Street Fighter V doesn't have the following. Okay, no arcade mode, no versus computer mode. It comes with a single, with a training mode, survival mode, and story mode. And besides that, if you don't have PSN and you're play and you're paying for online and you and you aren't excuse me you aren't paying for online on the PS4. I'm not sure how this works on the PC, so I'm not going to speak on that. Then you won't be able to even enjoy the online fighting. So it's a price on top of a price. Now. What if a newcomer just wanted to enjoy a casual evening playing against a computer in a stage they pick on a difficulty they set, they set it on and, and, and get better at the game, okay? Because they're new to the game. Well, you're shit out of luck because other than a training mode, which is, to me, incredibly lazy, you will not have those modes. And it's a fighting game. It's a fighting game. At the least... These modes should have been there day one, not months down the line when they decide they want to put shit in there. Are we really going to uh, forget at launch that we couldn't actually play the game online for a bit because of maintenance? We bought it, but we couldn't play it because of maintenance. And that all the time we couldn't play it online, we merely had a, hi a hidden verse computer mode in training a la um, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. An easy survival mode and a vanilla story mode. Now, even though I say all this about Street Fighter V, it's still a good fighting game, okay? Don't get me wrong. And if you're all about multiplayer, then it's the fighting game for you. In fact, it's not the game at all. It's 
Capcom's bad practices. No different than last gen with Marvel vs. Capcom 3 having a vanilla version that than an ultimate. Than, than an ultimate. No different than the many different versions of uh, Street Fighter 4. But in fairness, Street Fighter 4 did include all the single player modes you could want in a fighting game with the DLC just being costumes. With that said, the one thing I didn't 100% agree with was the issue about a fighting game being exclusive. Because um, Street Fighter EX was an exclusive to the PlayStation. Dead or Alive was exclusive to Microsoft with three releases. I did see your point. It, you know, I, I did see your point in how ridiculous it can be for the fighting game to be exclusive in the in the first place, however. But there are many people that think exclusivity, exclusives, and being exclusive and having exclusivity, exclusivity, excuse me, <laughs> are anti-consumer. And that's the whole other issue I will talk about on my next video, okay? Good video, Jimmy B. Gaming. Nice to know there that we still have people in the gaming community who speak out against the corporate bullshit going on. This is the Titanfall Princess. I'm out. Share your thoughts. How do you feel about Street Fighter V? And later!